good evening. So today I am making slow cooker chocolate swirl banana bread. It's going to take about three hours on high and let's get started. So first in here I'm going to put some room temp butter and that's about two tablespoons. I also am going to combine with that a half a cup of brown sugar. And this is this will be packed. All right. So we've combined that. And Let's get this going here real quick. All right. So while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and get my other ingredients ready. So I have two tablespoons of here. I have two tablespoons of applesauce here, and I'm going to mix two egg whites. my egg whites, my applesauce, my vanilla. Perfect. I'm also going to combine my banana. So this will take three bananas. I'm just going to break them up. If you've never done um, banana bread in a slow cooker, it is so good. And I, I, it's hard to even describe the way it tastes. It's a lot different than baked in the oven. It's a little bit warmer, a little bit, I mean, I guess it's... It's hard to say. It's very moist. It's very yummy. I mean, it is really good. My family loves it. All right, so let's go ahead and get this going here. So I'm gonna blend this well here. Clean up a mess. I 
this is together. That looks really good. And it is ready for my dry ingredients. So let's go ahead and add that. Perfect. This looks good. Looks real good. I'm going to actually switch this out with a different one. And I'm going to put my flour mixture in there. Perfect. Let's drop this down. I'm going to blend this. Don't forget to scrape your sides because we don't want to not. <laughs> uh, all right. Perfect. So while this is blending here, I am going to go over and heat up my chocolate chips for about 30 seconds here. I melted the chocolate. Now I'm just going to stir it. Get it all combined here. It is melted good, and I love the smell of chocolate. So this is about a fourth of cup of chocolate here. All right, so that is good, and we're gonna grab my pan. I'm gonna spray it lightly with. Some oil that is out. Alright. So I'm just going to spray this real quick. Okay. And I'm going to pour my butter in the baking pan. Pour this in here. Smell that banana. Smells yummy. Some dollops. In here and then I'm gonna swirl it around. I'm gonna put this pan in my slow cooker for three hours exactly on high and then we're gonna have some banana bread for dessert tonight. So we just swirl that around. So this is going to make 12 slices. You can freeze it. It is freezer friendly, which is what I usually do. And um, the calories are 134 sli uh, calories per slice. Not too bad for a nice breakfast or dessert. Not bad at all. All right. Boom.